Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have n square minus n cubed equals to 150 uh, and we solve this problem for the values of n. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now first we need to rewrite this equation as in this form. First you have this is n square minus n cubed equals to this is 150 and we break this 150 as 125 plus 25. So 125 plus 25 is becomes here 150. And now in the next step uh, we again focus in the right hand side and we can just uh, write the prime factors of uh, these two numbers and we know that uh, prime factors of 125 are 5 cubed and plus prime factors of 25 are 5 square. And now in the next step we need to move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as this is n square minus n cubed and here you have this is plus 5 cubed when we move in the left hand side it will become minus 5 cubed and when we move this plus 5 square in the left hand side it will become minus 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here further in the next step we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and we make the pair of square term with square term. Uh, so uh, we make the pair of uh, n square with minus 5 square so it will be written as n square minus 5 square into here we need to take common minus sign from these two values and it will be written as n cubed plus 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need to use here uh, the nice square and cubic formula so uh, in the first factor we apply here this nice formula if you have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b and in this factor we apply here this cubic formula a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So uh, here we need these two formulas and according to uh, this formula we can expand our above equation as in this form. Uh, so first we can expand the first factor and in first factor we apply this first formula. So according to this formula we write this term as here you have a minus b the value of a is n minus the value of b is 5 into a plus b. So we have this is n plus 5 and this is our minus and here we apply uh, the cubic formula. So here in this case we have our a is equals to n and b is equals to 5. So we put these two values of a and b here. So it will be written as a plus b a is n and b is 5 into again a square. So a is n and it will become n square minus n into b is 5 plus b square. So b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, you see here both of these terms involve n plus 5. So here we take common n plus 5 and we get the remaining values are. So here when you take common n minus n plus 5 from here we will get here n minus 5 and when you take common n plus 5 from here we get this value only and we multiply this negative sign on each of these values. So it will be written as minus n square and this is minus times of minus becomes plus and we write it as 5n and this again minus times of plus becomes minus and 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need a little bit simplifications and now we can just add or subtract the like terms. So here we have uh, first we write the n square so this is minus n square and after that we have this is n plus 5n equals to 6n and here we have minus 5 minus 25 equals to minus 30 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write n plus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write minus n square plus 6n 
minus 30 equals to 0. So from the first case, we easily get the value of n is equals to minus 5. So this is the first real root of the given equation. And now here in order to find the other roots, we need to solve this quadratic equation. But now first we write this quadratic equation into the standard form. For this, we need to multiplying on both of the sides by minus 1. So when we multiply both of the sides by minus 1, this will be written as this is minus n square becomes plus n square. This plus becomes minus 6n. This minus 30 becomes plus 30 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here, we need uh, to solve this quadratic equation and we can solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula so here we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 30 and we state the quadratic formula as n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c in this nice formula so here uh, after substituting the values uh, this formula is written as first we have minus b the value of b is minus 6 so this will become minus times of minus becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 6 and minus 6 square becomes plus 36 and minus 4 times of uh, a is 1 and c is 30 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1 and now in the next step we need uh, some simplifications here so we write this term as n is equals to this is 6 plus minus square root of uh, here we have this is 36 minus 4 times of 30 equals to 120 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and now we can subtract these two values so 36 minus 120 is equals to minus 84 and it will be written as 6 plus minus square root of minus 84 divided by 2 and now here uh, we need uh, to break this 84 as this is 6 plus minus here we can uh, apply this square root separately on negative sign and 84 and we break 84 as 21 times of 4 we know that 21 times 4 becomes 84 and we can apply a square root separately on minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now further in the next step uh, here you see that uh, we have 6 plus minus uh, here we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 times of square root of 21 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and in the final step we need to break this fraction and when you break this fraction it will be written as 6 over 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 21 iota and it is divided by 2 then you get here 2 3 is a 6 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here the value of n is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 21 into iota so these are the other two complex uh, roots of the given equation then we have n equals to minus 5 be the one real root of the given equation so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.